more um, when they're outside because then flies start to come. And flies are not good for dogs or anything in that matter. So, and then we also put, I don't know if you can see it, some fly um, adhesive just to kill them. Jeremiah has been really paranoid of um, Parvo. And you know who wouldn't be? So he put, he's adjusted a lot of um, fly stickies. They're these. They're the non-poisonous ones, just the honey, so they get stuck and die. Just in case they fall and the puppies get to them. I mean, it's still not the greatest thing because it's going to get on their fur. And I don't know how that's going to be to take it off. The puppies have been really good at um, being crate trained. They really like it, actually. They pretty much look the same. Let me know if you guys want to see the puppies every single video. Like, how they've grown. I'm going to show shots of them, but if you guys want to see them, like, in close. Kind of like I did with him. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Ew is right. Wow, New water. Oh. Oh, dang, that's a lot. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I spilled. Hi. This is inside the setup. Oh my god. What are you doing? So, this is for crate training. This is for accidents. And they've liked to go over there if it's too hot because the floor is really cold. So, I left that little part open for them. I put this mat that we had in the puppy playpen in my room just for accidents, you know. I'm debating whether or not to put a bed out here. I think they won't even use it since it's so hot. Yeah. <laughs> He's, it's so hot, huh? And then, of course, toys. Toys for them to play with. Their water bowl. They're such good puppies. Like, like you'll never get as intelligent of a puppy as these. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the kisses. Thank you. <laughs> He's starting to be one of my favorites, you guys. He's so cute. If it wasn't for this enclosed area that we have, it's a bar, actually. Um, but my mom let me, um, you know, keep it as the puppy sanctuary. If it wasn't for this, then we probably use the playpen that we had in my room. But we did have this gate, and it worked perfectly because, well, it just did. It's like a little room. But yeah, the puppies are doing fine. They're growing, playing, having fun, getting trained. There goes another one. Oh, that's a good girl. They're so smart, you guys. I just can't get over it. Oh my god. <laughs> that's a good girl. That's a good girl. Oh no. <laughs> she put her paw in the water bowl. What happened? You got wet. Do you guys want to go outside? Oh, look, another one. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. So I just wanted to do a quick update on the puppies. They turned four weeks this week. <laughs> this Friday, they turned four weeks. And as you can see, we changed the location of the playpen. We did introduce them to a wet food, a science diet. We mixed it in with some water. So they did get introduced to a water bowl and um, if you guys saw, I'll try to get some snippets of it. They act pretty funny when it comes to drinking water for the first time and I think it's so adorable. But I kind of wanted to talk about like during the four weeks I guess. Um, so they get introduced to puppy food at four weeks because I think it's so funny as well. They start getting little like razor sharp teeth, you know, when you get a puppy and they bite you, like it hurts really bad because they have razor sharp, sharp teeth. Well, imagine that on Stella when she tries to feed them and they grow really fast. So, I mean, one day they don't have teeth, the next day they, they do and they bite Stella and she starts like nipping at them kind of to stop. I usually like to start with wet food and then gradually start with um, like wet dry kibble and then actually dry kibble and it's usually the same brand and then another thing I wanted to say is why we chose the location we chose um, and why we moved them in the first place imagine having a puppy and your puppy usually cries at night right just imagine nine puppies crying at night it's the worst thing ever they usually wake up at three in the morning and six in the morning and um, I mean once you get used to it it's okay I guess but You'll never really get used to it. So we decided to move them because we have a busy schedule and we need our sleep. 
and why we moved them here we usually put them in the garage but those puppies were born around winter time and the garage is fairly warm so it's pretty good for them but right now as you guys could probably tell it's summer and it's really hot in the garage and that was not a good place to put them um so i mean we have like this I don't know what they're called, like a canopy outside. There's always shade. If it ever gets too hot, of course, like right now there's a nice breeze and with the shade, it feels really nice. But of course, if there isn't no breeze and it's really hot, we're gonna end up bringing them back inside for the day. For the most part, they look pretty the same um, as in size and stuff from the last video. I am party training them and they're doing a really good job. Sometimes they barely miss the puppy pad, but it's okay because I mean, they're barely getting used to it and um, at least they tried you know so yeah that's the update if you guys want any other updates let me know just so I know what to cover and what you guys want to know for the next video so I put the poll in the community tab and you guys can go there every single week um, to see what's gonna be posted or along those lines and you guys said you wanted to vlog I've been really debating on whether or not vlogs are good for this channel as you guys saw in the beginning I tried making it a vlog I kind of did like a montage kind of vlog kind of thing which I I hope you guys enjoyed vlogs I mean there's not much to puppy breeding unless you guys want me to make a video what to expect maybe or something about breeding how to breed what to expect when breeding I don't know just different things like that and that's that's all I really have to say like I said there's nothing that complicated about doing these things the puppies are in here I get them some grass time so right now they're gradually getting away from you know, mom's milk but I do feed them every four to five hours yeah they sleep all day they eat they go to the restroom they play you know just simple stuff like that and I didn't really know what to make the vlog about I'm just gonna be honest with you guys thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys want anything particular please let me know so I can make you guys all happy with things you guys want to see subscribe to see more videos like these like this video of course if you enjoyed it and i'll catch you in the next one bye